not make an opening statement. We'll just start in the back with questions with Steph, and then just raise your hands, and we'll give them to you. Chris, for y'all, you know, the slow start offensively. Uh, what were they doing kind of defensively to make it tough for you guys, and, and just how important is that on the road, getting a better offensive start? Yeah, I thought we started slow both offensively and defensively, as a matter of fact. Um, they were very aggressive early in the game, the majority of the game, um, but especially early. You know, we were catching the ball further out than you know the play is designed to do so. Kind of put us on our heels a little bit. Um, and then offensively, I thought they were really on it as well. I really felt like, um, unfortunately, it was a classic case of you know playing uphill all night long. 8-2, 24-10, down 17 and a half. You know, cut it to eight, I think, was the closest we ever got. It wasn't there very long. And you know, they, they stretched it out again to double the figures. And, we were just playing uphill all night long, and that's how it felt. And um, they did an excellent job. We we'll go to Justin, front row, coach's left. Chris, obviously, two tough losses this week on some of the top teams in the conference. What do you feel like the guys learned in this week of play while competing with these types of programs coming off that five game winning streak? Oh well, the first game was when you got a chance to beat a team of that caliber. You know, you got to get it done, and, and we didn't. We, we certainly had some chances. We had some opportunities. In, in the Tuesday game against Kentucky that um, didn't happen for us. Uh, this game, the, the, the lesson will be playing against a good team in a, in a great crowd and environment on the road. You know, you've got to try to take away the crowd as best you can. And they were, you know, got into the game because the home team played well and we didn't do our job of, you know, doing anything to, to quiet them down too much. So just being ready to play all the time and uh, every possession matters. Go to Benjamin, second row coaches, right? You were able to, to shoot better than 50% there in the second half. Were there some adjustments uh, that you guys made that you, know, you think maybe can carry over to the next couple games coming up here? Gosh, I don't know. We um, just ran better offense. Uh, we tried to get into some two-man games inside with, with the guard and Tolu. We were switching some and thought we could maybe get the switch and throw it inside and, and play through that. And that worked for a little bit. We. Had to increase our tempo in the second half because of obvious reasons. We were down too far to, you know, really stick to our, our game plan of trying to you know, make it more of a possession game, and that certainly didn't work um, in in the first half. But um, we played better. But more importantly, um, the lesson was that, you know, what I told them after the game was that they took the fight to us to start the game, and they were more physical than us. And kudos to. Coach Pearl and the staff and his players. I haven't said that very often uh, all year long with, with our team, um, but, but you know I told them the truth. I always tell them the truth, and that was the truth that they took the fight to us. And um, you know that can't be the case that the way our team is put together and the way our roster is constructed. And, and I got to take some of the blame. Um, you know we've been playing a certain ball screen coverage uh, the last two or three games prior to this one, and. Um, we actually switched it back to how we played against Auburn when we beat them at home, and it wasn't as aggressive. And uh, they took they took advantage of it in the second half. We, we switched to what we've been doing recently to be more aggressive, and that helped us uh, in defense as well. We'll go back to Steph in the middle, second round. Chris, we saw you guys obviously in response to that three and six start, you know, an SEC play that has a winning streak. You know, how much do you feel like that experience you know, gives you the trust that your players kind of be able to flush? Uh, this week as you go into the important two game stretch towards the regular season? Well, we'll find out shortly. Um, doesn't matter what I think or what I think will happen. We got two more games before we head to Nashville, and obviously, you'll be talking back home about you know, the 40 minute game you know, in the season. Like we're in the five, last five minutes of our game, if you use the analogy of, of our season. And um, the opportunities you know, go away quickly, and we've got we've to win some games. Some games. That's the bottom line, and um, obviously the last four games of our SEC schedule is, is like the first four. It's tough. They're great opportunities, but if you don't take advantage of them, they're just lost opportunities. A couple more. We'll go back to Justin. Chris, going off that, just how important is gaining, regaining some of that momentum this last week before postseason play starts uh, for you? Yeah, I'm not too concerned about momentum heading into postseason play. I'm, I'm just more concerned of um, winning basketball games. You know, that's kind of where we're at. Um, each game is very, very important. It's crucial to where we're at and where we're trying to do and where our goals are for the season. And our whole focus will just be on you know, 
trying to get ready for Wednesday. Steph, wrap us up. It's no secret that Josh is obviously at the top of you know, a lot of team scouting reports at this point throughout the season. How have you kind of felt that he's handled different defenses and the different pressures that he's seen, um, you know, especially a team like Auburn and playing him for a second time? They obviously were giving him a ton of attention. Uh, you know, he's one for six at halftime with a couple turnovers. I thought they sped him up a little bit, you know, which, which doesn't happen very often. And obviously, Josh is a big time player, um, but like, all players, you know, like I don't care if you're a ten-year vet, you know, you got things to learn, you got things to use, experiences that you've been through to, to help make you better. And you know, I think Josh is, is obviously a, uh, understands the game and understands that you know he's got to get better and he's got to learn from how different people defend him. And um, because of the stature, et cetera, he's got to be careful sometimes when you know they, they speed him up and he tries to get all the way to the rim when there's a bunch of size waiting for him. And then. He's just got to you know, make sure he takes care of the basketball. But, um, you know, he's we talked about him, obviously, all year long. And you know, he still found a way to, to, to help us have a chance to get back in the game in the second half. It just wasn't quite enough as our, for our team. Thank you, guys.